I'm on the phone with my insurance company. New insurance doesn't cover my office visit because I didn't register. I tell you, this affordable health care thing has been a nightmare for the last two years for me. Who knows when I'm going to get this taken care of. On hold. Call number 14. One eternity later. Okay, so I spent 20 minutes on the phone with the insurance company. I'm now in a smaller room waiting. Uh, my appointment was an hour and 10 minutes ago. Now we'll wait and see how long this takes. I am finally out of here. It took a little over two hours for the complete process, uh, which, you know, whatever, it's okay. They're super nice here. They treat me great. Everything is completely fine. So uh, it is what it is. I mean, I, did I have two hours today to waste on being at the doctor's? Not even close to it, but, but hey, listen, what's done is done. And, and again, I could be frumpy and, and upset about it and make a fuss, or I could just say, whatever. So it's done, I'm back to the shop. Not gonna lie, it kinda tweaked my back pretty good when I fell. I've got an idea, let's see how this works. Hey Lori, I know you're going to Darcy for a massage, and you know, I hurt my back a little bit, so what do you think about letting me go to Darcy today? I think it's pretty shitty that you asked me that on camera. Because then you make me look mean if I say no. So, well played. So is that a no? No, honey, I think you should. Go ahead and take my appointment. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so what time do I go? Um, it's at five. Five? You told me four o'clock <laughs> earlier. You told me it was four to five. So, <laughs> Well, I'll just be in pain then. I hope you enjoy your massage later today. I'll just be hobbling around. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be okay. Figured it'd work out that way. And just for the record, after I stopped filming, Lori did come in and say, do you really want to go to that massage? I'll be happy to transfer. But the truth is I was just messing with her. Hey, I wanted to come next door because a lot of people have been asking me about where I'm at with the zoo next door and so on like that. Let me just turn on some lights here. So basically, this is where I'm at right now with it. I really haven't put any effort into the actual uh, building out of the place yet. But as you can see, we kind of cleaned the place up. It's all, all the walls are painted up. The floors are all cleaned up. The ceiling is all fixed. Everything is all patched up. So, so we've done, you know, there's been quite a bit of work that has been done over here and it's basically just a shell at this point. And the reason why I haven't really done anything is that there's some other kind of major things going on which are really exciting and some of which I'll be able to share with you guys pretty soon. And, and it's just kept me really busy. So. I have the space, it's cleaned up, it's ready to go. And that was a big part of it, is getting the place into a situation where I could, if I start going for it. Basically what I'm saying is that rather than struggling right now to try to push this project through and not give it the effort that I need to give it, would not do it justice. It's still gonna happen, it's still coming out, but it may be a couple months before I really get started. And, and I'll be in a much better position all around when I do finally get it started, rather than pushing and kind of neglecting everything and not doing it the way it needs to be done. Because this is a passion project, guys. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, there's really no money in this project. Um, you know, it, it's because I love it. So I'm gonna put, you know, maybe 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars into building something. I probably will never even get get my money back, which is completely fine because this is what I call a passion project. It's because I'm passionate, I wanna educate, teach, learn. You know, that's what it's all about to me. It's not about making the money. So, but with that said, when you're doing a passion project, you can't neglect other things in life. Anyways, just wanted to give you guys the update. This is what it looks like in here. It's looking really beautiful. As a matter of fact, I think I should bring some hockey nets in here and just play a little hockey because it's a beautiful, nice big space that has nothing going on, nice and clean. So uh, there you are, there's your update. Hey, and while I'm at it, I'll update you guys on our hibernation. A lot of people have asked how we hibernate our animals and this is where it is right here. So this is basically, it's always dark down here. It's nice and cool. The leopard geckos over here are at a about uh, 65-ish degrees, maybe 62 to 65 degrees. So these are all our leopard geckos and blue tongue skinks, uh, which hibernate basically in the same thing. So, uh, so again, we turn the lights out and it's cool, dark down here, and it's perfect. And as for the colubrids, they're over on this side that's a little cooler, uh, and they're down to about maybe 55 to 60 degrees right now. And again, cool, dark, so colubrids are over here, and that's how we hibernate our animals. You know, whenever I just kinda get a little bit 
wacky and don't think, I, you know, what should I do next? I think maybe I'll just put, put speedy cam on. And I got a new, check it out. I've got a new GoPro that I just put on speedy uh, and it's the little cube and I figured let's give that a try. Let's see if we can get him to go Oh, I've got this lettuce here. I'm gonna see if I can get him to do a loop around it Well, there you have it. I tell you, that was some kind of a record. He made it around this entire circle in actual time in about 10 minutes, which <laughs> that was crazy because for him, he really is speedy. That was, that was awesome. So I just love that tortoise. You know, I wonder what you guys think about something. You know, I, I'm always so busy and, and there's those two trains of thought. You know, one would be do what you do best and really focus on that. And then the other train of thought that I kind of fall into is just do a lot of things and, and try to be as good as you can do with all of them, but then some things are gonna kinda take off and, and you know, it's kinda that old throw enough stuff at the wall and something is gonna stick. I wonder what you guys think of that. Do you think that you should be like, my light is getting wacky here. Do, do you guys, so what is it that you guys think? Do you think that you should not be as like spread all over the place? I have so many things going on guys that it sometimes just blows. And you know, someone brought that up the other day to me. They said, do you ever get overwhelmed? And my answer is, of course I get overwhelmed. I get overwhelmed almost every day of my life because I have so much going on, so much hitting me at all times. But the difference is how do you react to being overwhelmed? Do you go into a turtle and kind of get yourself all into or do you, slowly make it and one of the things I do just to share with you guys is I try to make lists you know I go all right well I've got 12 things that have to get done today that are very important so I do those lists and then as I'm checking off those lists that feeling of being overwhelmed kind of lifts right and I feel like all right well you know at the beginning of the day it seemed insurmountable to do all these things and then by midday I'm down to five or six things I think all right I might be able to do this you get down to those last one or two and you feel like oh what a relief so that might help for you guys and uh regardless guys I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, please hit the like button and the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading a video. Make sure to be kind to somebody, and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>